This video is about Artemis 1 mission of NASA. NASA successfully completed Artemis 1 mission in November December of 2022. From 1969 to 1972, NASA conducted several human landings on moon. It was called Apollo missions. During these 3 years, 12 men landed on the moon. In 1972, this Apollo mission was concluded. 50 years have passed since then and no human missions have taken place to the moon but nasa wants to change this so they planned three missions artemis 1 2 and 3 they named this artemis artemis is twin sister of apollo artemis 1 took place in november december of 2022 artemis 2 is planned for 2024 and artemis 3 in 2026 How are these missions different? In Artemis 1, three dummy human figures traveled and took a close flyby of moon. So, no real humans on this. In Artemis 2, real human crew shall travel and carry out a close flyby of moon, but they will not land. In Artemis 3, real humans shall land on the moon. Also, NASA has planned women astronauts in Artemis. Apollo missions of 1969 to 1972 included all men. NASA has built a powerful rocket to launch Artemis missions. It is called Space Launch System. It is a rocket. It is powerful enough to launch missions involving human crew on board to moon and Mars in the future. The actual spacecraft that travels to the moon is called Orion spacecraft. At the front It has space for humans to sit. It is called command module or crew module. In the back, it has service module like it carries all support systems that assist the crew and the mission. After leaving Earth, the Orion spacecraft traveled for nearly 10 days to the moon. It approached the moon from opposite direction of moon's orbital direction. By doing this spacecraft moves in the opposite direction of moon's gravitational pull so this helps the spacecraft slow down and acts like a brake after slowing down the spacecraft started to move towards a special orbit called distant retrograde orbit it is called retrograde orbit because the spacecraft orbits the moon in opposite direction of moon's travel around earth It is called distant because it is at a far away distance from the moon. This distant retrograde orbit is also special because it covers two of the five stable gravity locations called Lagrange points. There are five Lagrange points in Earth and Moon system. The Orion spacecraft spent nearly 6 days orbiting the moon making observations. Now it has to get back to Earth right? It follows a technique It slows down. Moon's gravity pulls it closer. It approaches with high speed. When it nears moon, it fires its engine. It also makes use of moon's gravity in a clever way and sets itself on a trajectory towards earth. The return journey took around 10 more days, making Artemis 1 a total of 26 days mission. It left earth on November 16, 2022 and reached back on December 11th. It landed on Earth somewhere in Pacific Ocean. The process of landing in water is called splashdown. The Artemis 1 had multiple objectives that it completed successfully. Artemis 2 and 3 involve real humans. So, Artemis 1 did observations such as radiation effect in deep space. It also studied effect of acceleration on crew using sensors on dummy figures. It tested heat shield of Orion spacecraft required during re-entry of spacecraft into Earth's atmosphere and all systems required for upcoming missions. Some of the components of the Orion spacecraft were built by European Space Agency such as service module. There are many moon missions of different countries without involving humans. It includes our Chandrayaan 1 and 2. Take a look at this chart. Follow this playlist for more related contents. 
सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल क्लैरिटी ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट